NYCC News. I'm your host, Lily Weinberg. Polls opened yesterday and youth decide the energy election. 4,000 young people cast their vote for their future. It's been a big day. Our top news stories are, the AYCC was plagued with technical difficulties as thousands of people were ready to submit their ballots. Some of the youth electorate stood captivated by their computer screens, cheering on as each vote came in, even if they did come in a little slowly. The main glitch at the moment is people thinking they're voting twice, but really they're just pushing the counter up. We could be courting disaster and heartbreak. Supreme courting disaster? Things are heating up, so let's cross to our political consultant, Joel Dignam, to check in on the candidates. Joel, how's the election going? Thank you, Lily. Well, the election is certainly a close one. We've got um, the, the two candidates neck and neck. It's definitely going to be coming down to the wire of the last two votes, which is why it's particularly, uh, I guess, noteworthy what you've described the technical glitches. In fact, so many people haven't been able to vote. Some people are saying it's not so much an electoral commission as an electoral omission. <laughs> But certainly the candidates are getting desperate and vying for every single one of those final votes. We've seen some attack ads released with Percival Cole, the, um, the establishment candidate, attacking Sunny Solar as unreliable and inconsistent. However, Sunny Solar has also been hitting back, saying that Percival Cole, I quote, is stuck in the 19th century. Now, of course, this is an interesting election, particularly because it enfranchises a typically disenfranchised uh, constituency, the 12 to 18 year old bracket. Now, obviously, this has quite significant impacts on the voting. So you can see here, this particular constituency is quite likely to be concerned about the long term impacts of things such as climate change. And of course, how this affects their voting decisions in the energy election remains to be seen. Back to you in the studio, Lily. Thanks, Joel. Wow, it seems like it's going to be a really tough race. Who do you think is going to come out on top? <laughs> oh, Lily, what would I know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joel. Well, that's all we have time for today, and we'll see you next time on the AYCC News. Have a good night. You stay classy, San Diego. <laughs>